Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today, we celebrate the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The Healing Eucharist Incorporated and the SVD Secretariat for Social Communications in cooperation with ABS-CBN, Philippine Daily Inquirer, Balikbayan Handicrafts, and Bernabe Construction and Industrial Corporation of Asia celebrate with you this Holy Mass. Our Mass presider is Rev. Father Jerome Marquez, SVD. Our celebration will now begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We are gathered, and we recognize in this holy celebration God's presence in our midst. We bow our heads in silence as we seek for His mercy and Pardon. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Together we recite glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to his people of goodwill. We praise yes. you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all 
who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians. The grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word. The commandments of the Lord are near to us, written in our hearts. We need only to carry them out in the daily events of life. The first reading. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, If only you would heed the voice of the Lord your God and keep His commandments and statutes that are written in this book of the law, when you return to the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul, for this command that I enjoin on you today is not too mysterious and remote for you. It is not up in the sky that you should say, who will go up in the sky to get it for us and tell us of it, that we may carry it out. Nor is it across the sea that you should say, who will cross the sea to get it for us and tell us of it that we may carry it out. No, it is something very near to you, already in your mouths and in your hearts. You have only to carry it out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. Please repeat. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God. In your great kindness, answer me with your constant help. Answer me, O Lord, for bounteous is your kindness. In your great mercy, turn toward me. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. I am afflicted and in pain. Let your saving help, O God, protect me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify Him with thanksgiving. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and His own who are in bonds, He spurns out. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. For God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. The descendants of his servants shall inherit it, and those who love his name shall inhabit it. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. Christ the Jesus is both image of the invisible God and of the lowly person. By becoming man, he is taking the face of every man and woman. The second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Christ Jesus is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in Him we are created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and the invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through Him and for Him. He is before all things, and in Him all things hold together. 
He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things He Himself might be preeminent. For in Him all the fullness was pleased to dwell, and through Him to reconcile all things for Him, making peace by blood of His cross through Him, whether those on earth or those in heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The proclamation of the gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a scholar of the law who stood up to test Jesus and said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, what is written in the law? How do you read it? He said in reply, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. He replied to him, You have answered correctly. Do this and you will live. But because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man fell victim to robbers as he went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. They stripped and beat him and went off leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down that road but when he saw him he passed by on the opposite side likewise a levite came to the place and when he saw him he passed by on the opposite side but a samaritan traveler who came upon him was moved with compassion at the sight he approached the victim poured oil and wine over his wounds and bandaged them. Then he lifted him up on his own animal, took him to an inn and cared for him. The next day, he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper with the instruction, take care of him. If you spend more than what I have given you, I shall repay you on my way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was neighbor to the robber's victim? He answered, the one who treated him with mercy. Jesus said to him, go and do likewise. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at palakpakan natin ang salita ng Diyos na ating narinig. May nagtetrending nito mga nakaraang linggo doon sa security guide na nasa Mandaluyong na binangga ng isang driver na nakasakay sa SUV at nang bumagsak ang security guide Huminto yung sasakyan for some five seconds. Tapos, tinuluyan na idiniretso. It took some less than two weeks bago lumabas yung driver at 
sumuko sa kapulisan. At ang sabi ng mga pulis ay sasampahan ng kaso yung driver, kaso ng saba ng uh, hobby side na hindi natuloy, ano frustrated dahil hindi naman namatay, at abandonment of the victim. At hindi nila agad hinuli at kinulong ang driver dahil sabi ng pulis, he will have his days on the court. Ibig sabihin, my due process na irerespeto. Tama naman yung due process sa batas natin. Ang kritik tik lang eh kung wala ka pa lang pera wala kang influensya at wala kang koneksyon dampot ka kaagad kulong ka kaagad dun sa iba patay ka pa agad pero sa sistemang kriminal at ustisya ng Pilipinas, pag meron kang kakayahan, meron kang koneksyon, at meron kang influensya, nangyayari yung due process. Kinikwento ko ito, kasi parang ganito rin yung kwento ng Good Samaritan na ating pinag-usapan. Para bang yung bumugbog doon sa half-dead na lalaki na huli o hinuli yung bandits. At kung ito'y sa Pilipinas, ito ang sistema ng kalakaran. Kaya critical tayo. Tinitingnan natin kung sino nga ba ang kapwa at paano natin itinatawid ang tunay na pakikipag kapwa. Bantayan muna natin yung unang tanong sa Ebanghelyo ayon kay Luke chapter 10. Sabi ng isang doktor ng batas, What must I do to inherit eternal life? Ano pong gagawin ko para magkaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan? Sapagkat yun ang sentro ng liturhiyang ito. At ang sagot ni Jesus, total lang kausap niya ay, doktor ng batas ay, anong sabi ng batas? Kaya't ang kanyang sagot ay, matalino at tama. Alam niya ang batas. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5. Mahalin mo ang Diyos ng buo mong puso, ng buo mong kaluluwa, ng buo mong lakas, ng buo mong pag-iisip. Lahat ng Hudyo alam itong Shema. At ang ikalawa, Leviticus chapter 19, verse 18. Mahalin mo ang iyong kapwa gaya ng iyong sarili. Kaya ang sabi ni Jesus, tama ang iyong sagot. Go and live like that. Kung ano ang iyong sinabi, buhayin mo. Pero alam natin na ang batas ay hindi lamang basta salita at teksto na nakasulat. Ang tunay na batas ng Diyos ay lumalabas sa ating puso. Sinasad ng ating dila at isinasagawa ng ating buhay. Kaya sa ikalwang pagbasa, ang sabi, ang lapit-lapit ng batas sa ating dila at puso. Dahil talagang inilalapit ng Diyos ang tunay ng kalooban sa atin. Kaya sa Ebanghelo ito, nagtanong muli, Ang magaling sa batas, sino ang aking kapwa? At alam natin ang kwento ng Good Samaritan, binugbugang isang estranghero doon sa daan sa Jericho at Jerusalem, hudyo ito. At half dead, beaten, dumaan ng isang paring katulad ko. Kami talaga mga pare. Pero pinansin ba ng pare? lumiban sa kabilang kalsada. 
dumaan ng isang Levitiko. Ang Levitiko ay yung mga naglilingkod sa templo. Parang kayong mga choir. Parang kayong mga altar server. Parang kayong mga katikista. Ang mga tao ng templo para rin pare. Lumiban sa kabilang kale. Pero wag na natin pag-usapan kung bakit hindi nila tinulungan. Sapagat ang pinakasentro ng kwento ay ang Samaritano. Hindi ito Hudyo. May galit pa ang mga Hudyo sa mga Samaritano. Dahil ang bundok ng templo ng pagsamba ng mga Samaritano ay sa Mount Gerizim. Ang Hudyo ay doon sa templo sa Jerusalem. Malaki ang away ng mga ito. Tinanong ba ng Samaritano kung siya ay Hudyo o Samaritano? Anong sagot? Hindi. Kinilala niya ba kung meron tong pera o wala? Hindi. Kung makapagbabayad ba ito? Kung siya ay tutulungan o hindi? Pakikinabangan niya ba ito? Wala. Sapagkat pagminsan ganun tayo pag tumutulong, di ba? Sa Pilipino, pag tinulungan kita, may inaantay akong kapalit. Hindi naman lahat ng Pilipino. Pero kung hindi kita pakikinabangan, bakit pa kita tutulungan? Abala ka lang. At kung ako'y aabalahin mo rin lang, wag na lang. Sapagat marami pa akong higit na mahalagang dapat gawin. Maraming dahilan kung bakit hindi rin tayo makausog sa pagkilala ng kapwa. At kung mapapahamak pa ako pag tinulungan kita, magiging problema ko lang. Huwag na lang para sa kaligtasan ko. Di ba, Lord? Right ko naman yun. We can have all reasons not to lift a finger. Pero lahat yon hindi inisip ng Samaritano. He took care of that half-dead man. Put oil and wine. Put it on his animal. Dinala sa inn. Naglabas pa ng pera. At sinabihan pa yung innkeeper, kung kukulangin pa, babalik ako at babayaran kita. It was an extra love that he gave. And that is how he treated his neighbor. He gave step beyond what might be just simple and normal. He extended his love to this person. Naalala ko lang, may nanay ako nakausap dahil yung isa niyang anak na ospital, hinanap ko yung nanay. Sabi ko, nai, nasa ospital yung anak mo. Father, hindi ko po anak yon. Sampu na po yung anak ko. Yan po ay napulot ng aking mga anak sa labas dahil siya ay galing pa sa Bicol at kami taga Cavite ay isinaba ko na sa inaampun kong anak. Panglabing isa ko na siyang anak. Nagulat ako doon sa nanay. Dahil ang bahay niya lang ay lupa pa ang sahi. Pero kaya pa niyang mag-alaga ng ikalabing isang anak. An extra sacrifice. Kaya ang tanong dito ay, hindi kung sino lang ang iyong kapwa. Sapagkat sinasabi ng Ebanghelyo, ang kapwa ay lahat. Pero ang higit na tanong rin ay, sino ang kumilos na kapwa sa taong nangangailangan? And perhaps that is the question to us now. Yes, we can be serving all. But do we really act like a neighbor to anyone who is in it? Amen. Magsitayo ang lahat as we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, 
Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We pray to you, Father, that we may learn to imitate your unconditional love as depicted in the parable of the Good Samaritan, with sincerity we pray, Lord, teach us to love like you. Lord, teach us to love like you. May the ministers of the church, Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and deacon, not only speak about love, but be compassionate and loving, so that after preaching to others, they too may experience the gift of redemption. We pray. Lord, teach us to love like you. May government officials not only focus on administering the basic services of government to the community, but also design and implement programs that would improve the living condition of all citizens, we pray. Lord, teach us to love like you. May those whose profession is to help the sick and the needy, doctors, nurses, social workers, be strongly motivated by gentleness and love for those whom they render service, we pray. Lord, Teach us to love like you. May those who lie wounded on the road, street children, victims of sexual abuse, the old and the lonely, find good Samaritans who will assist them and restore their health and confidence in you, O God, and in themselves. We pray. Lord, teach us to love like you. For all missionaries who have left home, country, and family to proclaim the gospel to all nations, may the Lord protect them from all dangers, strengthen them in their loneliness, give joy to their communities, and fulfillment in their apostolate. May the Lord reward them in this life and in the life to come for the sacrifices and generosity for the kingdom, we pray. Lord, teach us to love like you. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, teach us to love like you. We include in our prayers the intentions of our birthday celebrants, Mark Julius Macaraig. Miguel Joaquin Mendoza, Pablo Roste Sr. Also, the thanksgiving of Janet Bugayong, Charito Tambunting Juan and family, Corazon Balinas, Jerry Dumayas, Luz Guzman and family, for the special intentions of Tito and Elsa Avanjo, Avaricio, Rosario Baca, Bacani and family, Renato and Menchi de la Cruz, Lito and Piwi Villanueva for the healing of Lydia Secosana, Greg Origenes, and for the old souls, including the souls of Ernesto Serrano. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, teach us to love like you. Father of all mercies, we come to you with praise and gratitude for your loving concern. 
May your spirit be always with us as we strive to live your commandments of love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist. brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you. Grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, a duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that the people form as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might to the praise of your manifold wisdom, be manifest as the church. And so in the company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In 
a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Onesto, with Paulus Budi, Cleden, the SVD, Superior General, and with all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, including Nanita and Chodoro, and those souls we promise to pray for. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, Saint Arnold Jensen, Joseph Renadamets, Blessed Maria Elena Nosepa, the SVD Martyrs Aloysius, Luis, Stanislaus, and Gregory, and those who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be called ears to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. must we do to attain eternal life come let us all go back to our divine father
deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lord, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant us peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Tinuturig ba natin kapwa ang ating mga kasama? Let us greet one another as neighbors. Peace with you. Behold, this is Jesus who took the image of a Samaritan who cared for a stranger. Happy are those who are called to join in the banquet of our Savior. Lord, I'm not worthy they should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Nagpapasalamat po ako sa Healing Eucharist for this invitation. And to those who are part of this uh, celebration, marami pong salamat. Healing prayer. We now bow our heads for the healing prayer. Loving Father, it is by grace that we are one with you in this healing Eucharist. And we have come to seek your grace of healing for us who are ill, who are laboring in sickness, in pain, in anxiety, in fear of death. Lord, we ask you by the gift of your Spirit to touch any one of us seeking healing from physical illness, emotional illness, mental and psychological illnesses, social illness, and most importantly, our spiritual illness. Lord, we depend and trust in your grace as we surrender our body and our soul, our mind and strength, so we can regain it by your will and by your grace. And at this moment, those who are one with us on the ceiling, Eucharist, Lord, we offer our heart and our soul and our body. So, by your grace, we may receive the gift of being back in strength, being back in being one with you, being back to our families and communities and serving you more. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Nice ko rin pong ipaalam. Uh, kindly follow also conversations with Father Jerome SBD sa inyong YouTube or Facebook account. Kindly look for it. Conversations with Father Jerome SBD. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We would like to acknowledge Erwin Tulfo and family, Charito Juan and family, Rodel Manansala and family. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass has been offered. Let us go and be a neighbor to those in need. Thanks be to God.